so what's up guys so check this out i've been having a lot of problems with my playstation of course the playstation 4 ps4 so this is the old hard drive i already installed the new uh, hard drive the SS ssd one turbine so as you can see i just finished installing it right right there uh eventually i already formatted it um now i was getting a problem as well that so you see right now I cannot start the ps4 so he's asking me to press the power button for one second right okay here we go So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reinstall the whole system. So I'm going to go into safe mode. There we go. Okay. So, da -da 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 -da. come on, come on. Taking a little while. Okay, so it says connect the dual shock for using the USB cable. Then press the PS button. Well, so I connect this baby. I get this light, which is amber color. But check this out doesn't want to connect right so basically I'm doing this video because I was having a lot of problems with that issue so it wouldn't connect and there's I know for a fact that there's a lot of people out there that are having this issue so I believe I found the problem so eventually I don't know where where my uh, original PS4 cable is at, but I found out that the Samsung cable, so this is Samsung. It's pretty old cable, right? But it's from Samsung. So connect it, okay. Voila. Now I'm in. So guys, if you are having a problem getting the remote connected and do not have the original cable from PlayStation. Either buy a cable, but originally from Samsung or unless you guys own a Samsung, you know, phone, have the original uh, charging cable, go ahead and do that. All right. So that's uh, basically what I wanted to go ahead and uh, and, uh, you know, do this uh, video for. All right, good luck, guys.